Hello everyone and welcome in. So this is going to be a fun reading. We are going to see which golden girl you resonate with. So we have Rose, Sophia, Dorothy, and Blanche. So those ladies are right here, face down. So please try to see which healing crystal that you're drawn to. Um, you might be drawn to more than one pile because I feel like we have a little bit of um, a little bit of each golden girl in us, don't we? So I'm going to go ahead and pull some oracle cards in fast forward just to save on time and then I'll be pulling other cards on um, uh, live on camera. So let's go ahead and get started. So this will be for pile one, pile two, three, and four. So we have pile one is a rainbow moonstone, pile two is a clear calcite, pile three is a labradorite heart, and pile four is a tourmalated quartz. ahead and pull a few cards and fast forward. Feel free to stay for the shuffle or if you want to your reading will be in the timestamps. Please welcome in angels, ancestors, ancestors, spirit, spirit guides. Please bring in messages for the highest good. Okay, welcome pile one. So if you were drawn to the moon crystal, this is your reading. So we're gonna find out in a moment which golden girl you are. Let's go ahead and see what kind of oracle energies um, maybe came out for this, the energy of this character or what you could relate to in a sense of what golden girl you are. Chop wood. So this is about clearing things out. Poised. Well, that right there would be Blanche. <laughs> um, chopping wood. I feel like chopping wood would be like Sophia or... Um, or even Dorothy, you know, kind of cleaning house, getting things out. But these two coming out together, this could show me that, you know, if this is Blanche, this is being very poised, being very clean, making sure that you're looking your best at all times you know, because we have the broom and the bucket and all of that, but also that you clean and clear out your relationships very su soon. It's not like you're um, lingering on to things too long. So um, maybe if you're not on a, if you're not put on a pedestal and treated the way that you want to be treated, then you clear those people out. You know, you're 
going to make sure that you're put on that pedestal that, let's see what else we have, purpose. I know what I am here to do. Light. So there's a lighthouse here. So the light would make me feel that poised in that star energy as well. You know, I feel like Blanche has this energy of, I guess we'll go ahead and show you. You have Queen of Pentacles, Blanche. <laughs> So, Blanche enjoys the finer things. She definitely is extravagant. Um, she has this air about her, um, this, um, this light. It's, she feels like she has this higher purpose. You know, she gives off this regal, um, like she, she deserves the royal treatment, so to say. You know, that's kind of coming up with this purpose. Like... I know I'm here for grand things, um, and let me see what this says here, 42, chop wood, I'm pretty sure that's kind of what that means. What is it again? I'm sorry. <laughs> 42 breaks down to a 6, so that does bring in balance. Um, I'm going to pull some cards here on camera um, as well. Not just the stuff that was in Fast Forward. If you missed that, I um, pulled these in Fast Forward just to save on time. But now I'm kind of taking up time trying to look this up. Why do I keep looking up the wrong number? Okay, chop wood. Being grounded in everyday experience. Oh, it says the oracle's message. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your subconscious so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Okay, so maybe, you know, this is talking about how Blanche is so grandiose she, you know, maybe if you're relating to this, maybe it's just kind of a message to, um, to not forget the simple chores when you're still going for that bigger dream, you know, your purpose to not let, um, the things that need to be addressed here in the now don't let those go um, undone. All right, so let's go ahead and let's pull some cards. and Four of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. So really fighting for security. Um, you have all the resources. You have everything you need to um, To really bring in security for yourself. Really fighting for security. Hmm, let's see what else. So, I mean, to describe. Blanche. She is someone who would always give a younger age than she actually is. Um, she um, 
wants to dress nice and look attractive and feel like a woman. Um, you know, have that passion and that spark for life. So we have the death card and the three of swords. <laughs> so she isn't somebody that's going to get her heart broken. Um, we have the death card and the three of swords here. She is someone who's going to cut it off before that happens. Um, that's kind of what I was feeling with the chopped wood. You know, she is, um, I am... I am the royalty one in this relationship. I am the one who's going to decide when this ends. And maybe that's what this um, security is about. That's her, um, her way of protecting herself. What else? She definitely wants to be the one, the center of attention or the one that all eyes are drawn to. The one that is, lights up the room. What do we just get? Ace of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. It's interesting because this is Blanche and this is Blanche and then there's the pinnacle that she's holding. So possibly really trusting your intuition when it comes to new things that are coming in. You know, if there's an offer being made, you're going to trust your intuition about that um, or really have this inner knowing of if it's something that's for you. Um, so that could also be the light, you know, you're trusting that, um, that inner knowing. It says, I know what I'm here to do, knowing your purpose, knowing your worth. Very beautiful. All right, I'm going to end on that high priestess. Wow. <laughs> and Blanche, definitely, she had security. She had that big, beautiful house, um, building that legacy. Not necessarily, you know, building a legacy of trying to find a new husband, so to speak, but um, definitely building a legacy of great friendships and having that security. So let's go ahead and get a healing crystal. If you were drawn to um, any of the other ones, feel free to watch those as well. I feel like we have a little bit of each of the Golden Girls in us. And I also have done um, one for uh, which friend's character are you? So we have Loosen Up Your Grip. and ground yourself so the chop wood was talking about being grounded in the everyday chores and don't let you know when you're going for your big dream and your big goals and all of that so make sure that you these could be healing messages for you if you're drawn to this reading um, I think Blanche, because she is so on that pedestal, she could need to loosen loosen up her grip a little bit um, and step down from the pedestal sometimes and ground herself. So I think those are good healing messages to close on. But definitely keep, you know, don't dim your light for anyone. That's number one. Um, and definitely keep trusting your intuition. All right, guys, I will see you in the timestamps if you were guided here to another reading. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello, Pile 2. If you were drawn to the clear quartz, then this is your reading. So we're going to go ahead and place your golden girl over here, and we'll see who you got in just a moment. But I want to see um, 
how the oracle energies that were pulled in the fast forward, um, how those line up to the golden girl that you got. Chaos and conflict. And then we have a number 33. <laughs> Man, that could be any of them, right? Chaos and conflict. You know, you'd think Sophia, um, she was quite argumentative. Um, and then the chaos part could be Rose, you know. Um, but chaos and conflict together, that's Dorothy in a sense where, you know, she's had a bit of a chaotic life with leaving Stan and um, she definitely is going to stand her ground and all of that. Acceptance, having to accept um, being cheated on, you know, like she's really had the harder end of the stick, I think you'd say, when it comes to her marriage. You know, all of them were married. Um, so this says, I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. And let's see, there's two of these that came out. Hope and communication. So... Communication is governed by the air sign or the air element. Um, so that could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, and hope is the um, star card. So that's Aquarius. Um, so I feel like let's go ahead and see who you have. <laughs> Oh, look, the Queen of Swords. So that is air. Um, and then we have Dorothy. So the birds are up here because it's representing that air element. And that talks about our thoughts and communication. So she has had a rough go at things when it comes to love. Um, possibly if you were drawn here, maybe you've already been divorced. Or if you have not, you maybe have been really mistreated, um, lied to or cheated on, um, and having to accept that this isn't, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Um, it has something to do with the other person. Um, so there's been a lot of conflict, um, a lot of heartache, but still having that hope um, for this, for hope for the future. So let's go ahead and pull some cards. So Dorothy, um, she, you know, with the Queen of Swords, I mean, I guess that's perfect that they make her the Queen of Swords because the Queen of Swords is really out to harm none. But she is, she was the teacher. Um, she would also tutor students. Um, that's very Queen of Swords-like. You know, I'm intellectual. I am can see things clearly. I think from a logical mind, I don't let my emotions, you know, I'm not coming from emotions, I'm coming from logic. Um, I'm going to say how it is. All right, let's go ahead. Nine of Wands. So yes, being that wounded warrior from that past relationship. Um, Wow. <laughs> so, cutting out things that are no longer serving us. You know, I don't, I'm not going to be wounded anymore. I'm good. I'm, she's strong, you know? So, it's like choosing to cut out what's not serving you to, I mean, look at her. It's her whole <laughs> being the death guard. It's awesome. Um, yeah, so let's see what else we get. Two of Wands. So having the world in your hand when you choose to take that different path. You know, when life isn't going your way, you're choosing to take a totally different path. You're at a crossroad and really taking control of your life. Oh, wow. Judgment. Having this rebirth. Um, the second chance. 
and I feel like she does get a second chance at happiness you know whether she finds it with somebody else but she definitely has this beautiful you know something that's going to change her life forever she has this beautiful group of friends um, but judgment is the clarity in it it's a huge decision it can be a wake-up call um, but it's you know the angel blows the trumpet and it kind of wakes up um, the emotions and the hurt and the things that have been lying dormant um, from that nine of wands so it's like that's that could be the path that she chose you know she chose to have these rise up and clear that out I'm gonna be the bigger person I'm gonna rise above this I'm not gonna let this rule my life anymore you know we had the ten or the death card under there representing that um, I'm not gonna be the victim I'm the warrior you know hermit so hermit is Virgo energy really going within and finding what your power is in the situation acceptance learning and accepting the things that you can't change um, maybe communicating clearly oh there's the death card again so maybe your power in the situation is actually cutting off things that are no longer serving you. Like she cut off Stan, you know, she, she's not going to forgive someone who has cheated on her and lied to her and wronged her or left her for, you know, what was it? A younger woman and went off to Hawaii or somewhere. Um, but of course over the series, you know, over the show, he cut, tries to come back numerous times and things like that. Um, she's going to accept what he did in that sense and accepting that it is not anything to do with her um, her value her worth nothing like that it's you know wow I think I'm gonna leave it at that for the death card there oh, and then the three of Pentacles so things are really you know once you choose this new path if you're relating to this reading um, things are going to really start coming together for you. Once you cut that out, you have the Three of Pentacles under here, which talks about things really coming together. So having that hope and faith. Um, let's go ahead and get a healing crystal. I didn't want to make these too long because these were kind of more for fun, but they've actually been turning out really cool. So if you are a fan of the show Friends, I have done... Another one of these for which character, friend's character are you? Golden Healer, open the door. Wow. What's under here? Find your calm. <laughs> Blue Lace Agate. Wow. So with this chaos, and the conflicts and the hurt and the pain and all of that um, being able to find the calm find the hope um, find the acceptance and open that new path this two of wands um, in a sense is like finding the key to opening a whole new you know a whole nother door a whole nother path How beautiful. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Thank you so very much. If you're drawn to more than one, feel free to check those out. And I will see you all in the next one. Hello and welcome pile three. So if you were drawn to the Labradite heart, this is your reading. So I'm going to put the golden girl that you got over here, and we'll see who that is in a moment, but I want to see how 
the energies of the Oracle cards might align with the characteristics of that person. So we have time to go. Time to go. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Oh my gosh, you guys got patience twice. Wow. So this, um, and then time to go in the center. Maybe I'll put that in the center. So, I mean, this would give you the like almost the sense that this is a very patient person, um, someone very calm, um, maybe loving. Maybe someone that could get a little um, caught in the conversation to where you know, this could be saying that, you know, trying to be more aware <laughs> or something of um, if you're not sure when to leave a conversation, you know, how we sometimes get where it's like, oh, shoot, I shouldn't have said that or whatever. Like, um, you kind of get talking and you don't realize it's time to, like, leave the conversation because um, you're so comfortable you know, you're so comfortable in the conversation, you enjoy that, um, that sort of thing. So if you haven't already guessed, that's really lining up with the Queen of Cups and we have Rose. So roll Rose Nylon. So this is, you know, a characteristic where she loves to reminisce and tell stories from her days in St. Olaf. Um, and all of that and sometimes doesn't realize it's not the right moment for that long story that sort of thing um, and also sometimes maybe pe people need to have patience for her you know have the patience to listen to her stories and things like that but let's go ahead and dive in and do an actual reading um, Queen of Cups is a very intuitive very nurturing um, loving caring, you know, patient energy. And then the energy of Rose would, I mean, I guess she gets kind of the, um, flighty, um, being a dingbat, that sort of, um, reputation, but she is, very loving, um, kind. She's generous. She was always like doing charity things and that in the show where she, she was, um, always trying to help others. Really cares about her friends. Five of wands. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. So this is competition. And the Fool, <laughs> it's definitely Rose there on the Fool. Um, the Five of Wands to me, because it is where you're competing and stuff, sometimes that can bring out an immature energy. So sometimes she could be very immature or foolish. Um, let's go ahead and see what else we get. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune and the Devil. Look <laughs> at Blanche is eating the cheesecake. 
so I feel like this is saying, you know, like I think Rose's guilty pleasure is reminiscing and telling stories and um, you know, oh, this reminds me of a story or this reminds me when so-and-so, that sort of thing. I feel like that's her guilty pleasure and the timing sometimes is off with her stories where maybe it's not the best time. Under the deck we have the Emperor. That's showing up as Stan, it looks like. Um, so if you're resonating with the reading as far as that goes, this could just be another um, you know, sign letting you know to Sometimes the timing could be off with your guilty pleasure, so to speak. Like you need to really kind of be a little bit more of a leader too. Rose could be a bit of a follower. Um, so maybe if you're trying to get that wheel of fortune turning in your life, um, to get things moving. You can't um, get that by being a follower. You need to really harness the emperor energy um, to get things moving. We do have time to go, you know, so this is kind of like maybe you're too patient um, and just kind of like just waiting around for things to happen for you. Um, so this could be letting you know that you need to really take charge. strength. I feel like Rose does, um, I mean, Sophia on here is a good example. However, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So new things could be coming in. I feel like Rose does, um, I, I understand why they didn't put Rose on the strength card. Um, but because you, you know, you get that with, through wisdom where you um, you know, and obviously she's a spitfire. She's a very strong, but the strength card in tarot is not about the lion. It is about the lady who has tamed that through grace. And I feel like Rose is very graceful. Um, so I feel like by being patient, being yourself, um, And by being graceful, like, that's going to bring in new things for you. Oh, my gosh. The Ace of Cups is under that. Oh, my gosh. And then the Four of Wands. So bringing in stability. And then there's that Fool. So, yeah, by taking a leap of faith. Um, if you have conflict in your life and something new is presenting itself, this is letting you know it's, it's time. It's time to get away from maybe what's not meant for you and to take that leap of faith. This is going to bring in stability. Um, something that is emotionally fulfilling and possibly financially fulfilling as well. So taking that leap of faith. And then under the fool, we actually have the eight of cups. So this is when we are walking away from what's no longer serving us, which would be this over here, that whatever it is that's not meant for us, that could be holding up the wheel. So you're over here kind of being um, timid and patient and not realizing it's time to go now. It's time to walk away from that. Take that leap of faith. Um, and that's going to bring in an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you're the one who is in control of this wheel, this wheel of fortune here to get things moving. You're in control of it. You have the power with that emperor that was under the deck. So there is some type of, you know, things that come in your life where you're dealing with um, an immature person or you're dealing with something, some competition or you're dealing with a conflict or you're dealing with 
something that is not right for you, you know, that's lowering that vibration. But it's time to go um, to lead yourself out of that. So let's go ahead and get a healing crystal. Have recall your dreams and ground yourself. And then under the deck we have support is all around you. So you might, with that, um, with the fool card sometimes it's like this inner knowing of something that you have to take a leap of faith for it's like this new beginning that's being presented to you but you don't really even have the full picture or the full story you just know that it's going to work out that sort of thing um so you might have dreamed of it you might be getting synchronicities or messages that sort of thing um But it's interesting because it's patience and then time to go. It's like two, two different energies. But this says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. And when we have the Wheel of Fortune, that's talking about divine timing. So maybe really getting grounded and going for it. Instead of just being... Um, kind of happy with the way things are um, and know that you do have support but this is going to bring in something new this this represents everything in the 3d you know a new car a new house finances coming in all of that stuff offers being made um, and then the ace of cups is emotional fulfillment a new budding relationship something of that and then the four of wands is that stability this can even be the marriage card so really taking that leap of faith walking away from what's not serving you walking away from the conflicts grounding yourself and going for it wow this was quite different from the other ones all right thank you so very much um i did a friends one as well so if you i don't know if i already said that I feel like I keep repeating myself, but I don't know if I'm over saying it in one and not saying it in another one. <laughs> so anyway, what French character are you um, from Friends? Um, so yeah, if you were drawn to more of these, I feel like we all have a little bit of all the golden girls in us. So if you're drawn to more than one, check those out as well. Thank you. See you in the next one. Hello, pile four. Welcome to your reading. So if you were drawn to the Tormelated Quartz, this is your reading. So we're going to put the golden girl that you got over here, and we'll see who that is in just a moment, and I'll be pulling more cards as well. Um, these were just what I pulled in the fast forward, so if you missed the shuffle, you can check that out, or if you decided to skip it. Um, so let's see what energies we have. So we have co-create. Uh, my eyes really being drawn to the owl here. Owls, you know, for me, represent wisdom. Um, growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So that makes me feel like someone who is very quick-witted. Um... And they also kind of seem similar as well. Co-create and growth there. And friendship. Well, I feel like all of the... Anyone of the Golden Girls could have gotten that one. So let's see who you got. You got Sophia. So the Queen of Wands is who they have her as in this deck. So she would be creative. So the co-create makes sense. Um, passionate, um, the spitfire is Sophia, right? Um, and 
I feel like she always has that smart remarks or the things, you know, where she is very quick-witted and has, you know, she's not, you know, when they, when you're speaking of, um, uh, let's, let's pull some cards. Let's see here. Queen of Wands. That's interesting. Because you'd almost think that, um, Blanche would be the Queen of Wands because that's, you know, someone where you're very passionate and fiery and, you know, all of that. It's interesting that they made Sophia the Queen of Wands, but she is a spitfire, that's for sure. So that can be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, you don't have to be one of those to be drawn to this reading. All right, let's go ahead. So I'm doing these very short. I'm not going to pull that many. Um, just these were kind of like a fun reading. I also did one for which friend's character are you. So if you want to check that out. Or if you were drawn to more, one, more than one pile as well. I feel like all of us are, all of us have a little of each of the Golden Girls in us. <laughs> Whoa, there's three. All right. Ace of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, and the Moon. <laughs> All right. Well, we have the wand here, which is represented what Sophia is holding. You know, that spark of inspiration. She does get very passionate about um, her stories, about, you know, what she believes in and things like that. And then, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, um, that could represent, you know, having that wisdom. She has a lot to offer um, as far as the time that she spent here, the um, having all the, you know, it's like she's graduated a lot of levels, so she has a lot to offer when it comes to the wisdom or passing on things. Um, could talk about timing in a sense <laughs> also. Um, she has very good timing. Like, I feel like when she, you know, being that quick witted, she, um, has, she knows the, when the right time is to say something. Um, the moon could talk about, you know, having that intuition, but also, um, I mean, she, she seems fearless. Like she faces her fears. She's not afraid of anything. Um, and she could be, appear quite moody sometimes if she, you know, um, we have the 10 of swords under the deck. So living that long life and having pain and trials and, you know, things. So, you know, if you're relating to this reading, it doesn't mean that you've lived a long life. You know, I'm not calling you an old lady. Um, this is just saying, um, that you're a spitfire. You're very passionate about what you believe in. You have you know, basically the worst has already come. You know, you've been kicked while you're down. You've gone through a lot. Um, and that is behind you now. Let's see. Oh, 10 of cups. So 10 of swords and 10 of cups. So you will build, um, <clears throat> build your happily ever after, after, you know, having your heart broken, maybe after some loss, if you've lost, you know, there's a lot of pain here, but you're going to build, um, a happily ever after, you know, we have the growth card here. We have co-create. Maybe you're going to build a family with someone, um, Maybe you're going to, you know, have roommates like the Golden Girls, you know, this friendship cards here, um, co-create and growth, you know, really wanting to expand and grow. All right, let's go ahead and see what healing crystal we have. I feel like... Sophia's energy, I mean, that could talk about why she's the Queen of Wands, too. She's very confident and fearless. Okay. Let's 
schedule yourself in. So taking the time to take care of yourself. Oh, Golden Heal Healer is under the deck. We got that one, I believe, for um, the pile just before this. Or uh, pile two. Um, open the door. So we have growth and expanding and co-creating. And then under the deck here with this open the door. I feel like there is going to be something that you're very passionate about. Um, this spark of inspiration. And you all you need to do is open the door because the time is now. You just have to face those fears. Don't forget also to take care of yourself. You know, the Queen of Wands, she's very um, confident and um, all of that to where she make sure she's looking good and feeling good and all of that so wow what a cool reading all right i'm going to go ahead and close this off thank you so very much um, keep your eyes open for the um the other one for which friends char friends character are you if you were drawn to more than one pile especially if you were drawn drawn to pile two because this healer golden healer came up um check those out as well all right, thank you so very much, and I'll see you all in the next reading, or the next um, video. Thank you.